Welcome to Flash Tutorial 29, Instances. An instance is a copy of a symbol, either it be like a movie clip or a button. So we'll start with an FLA. I have a new FLA open here. I'm going to keep my stroke black and pick up a red for my fill. Pick up my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to go up to make sure I have it selected, modify it, convert it to a symbol, make sure movie clip is selected, and just going to call it ball, B-A-L-L underscore M-C, and OK. I'm calling it ball underscore M-C, but in fact, it's a rectangle. Now, that gives me a ball movie clip. There it is. I'm going to delete that. Are you sure? Yes, so it's gone. That would be editing on scene or editing in place. And where that is good is, is if I had a scene here and I wanted to make a movie clip, I could build it right here on the scene where I exactly when I wanted it so when I went inside the movie clip, it would be where it's supposed to be. The other way to make a movie clip or a symbol is to open the library panel, come down here in the corner on your new symbol, click it, and this time give it a name first, B-A-L-L underscore M-C. Movie clip is selected, but now you can see I do have something called ball movie clip, but there's nothing in it. We're inside of the ball movie clip, there's nothing in it. There's no limits to the size of the stage like there is on scene one. And now when we make our rectangle, we wouldn't know where it was on the scene one. So that's the difference between doing it in place on scene one or making it from the library. That's the only difference. Okay. Let's pick up the selection tool. And you see right here, this cross here, that's the center of this movie clip ball. So I just selected that with my selection tool. Open the properties alignment panel right here. If you don't have the alignment panel here, go under window alignment and it'll open up. This here align to stage. I'm going to align this object to the stage. So click here. Here it says align horizontally. So there it's horizontally aligned to the center and aligned vertically and now my ball is in the middle of my movie clip. It doesn't say where it is on the stage because I haven't put it on, or excuse me, it doesn't say where it is on scene one because I haven't put it on scene one yet. So let's just do a little one minute, one second motion, select frame 24, insert a keyframe, Let's just take it and we want to distort it. We want to just change this distortion, not, not a motion. So first of all, let's take and make it, pick up the selection, the free transform tool, and let's just go from being tall to skinny and long. And you can see now there's my center of my movie clip but there's the center of my ball. Now I could just grab this and put it like that. Or I could again go back to this alignment panel and align it to the center, which would be much more accurate. Okay, so now I just want to click here anywhere and do a shape tween. There it is. Now let's go back to scene one for a minute. And it is not on scene one. It's nowhere to be seen because we never started from scene one, we started from the library. So now, there is the ball movie clip. It, it's, never, it's never in itself used, you use what's called instances of it. So if I click on it, drag it onto the stage now, there it is, and if I highlight it, my selection tool, open the properties panel and see it has no name, but I, if I was writing code, I would give it a name. 
it's a movie clip and it's an instance of that ball movie clip which is always going to be in here sitting in here so now if we test this movie clip if we test this movie we'll see this morphing okay now let's go back to that library panel let's open it up and let's so I'll close that open the library panel up let's bring in one more two more three more four more we can bring in as many as we wanted and each of these if you're writing code would be given its own instance name if I tested this if I tested this I have five movie clips they're all doing exactly the same thing and none of them are any different if I highlight this one the properties panels would be exactly the same if I highlight this one the only time they would change and be different is if I give them an instance name they would be definitely have a different uh, name to write code on or if I physically change something in them here then they would be individually different so let's just take this one let's while it's clicked open the panel and let's see if we can find color effects let's see color effects and I want to change the the alpha on this one and right now it's zero alpha so let's go from zero let's leave it at zero if not move it to zero okay that's that one let's highlight this one see it's gone but it's really there let's do this one let's take the what's called the tint and let's make the tint all more blue than anything else so that that one's going to be blue when it starts okay let's select this one go back to these color effects and let's select the the brightness and let's make it less bright it's called less bright and this last one let's change this one's size make it bigger and let's do that with it and bring that in there. there so now we see we can change all those things and the library has only one symbol in it and the fact that I have five has not made this FLA much bigger as a matter of fact you wouldn't even notice the difference so now let's see what this looks like when I test it out that's the original one and the only one that didn't do anything is the alpha because we always change it with the alpha and the alpha is going to change the whole time so let's go back to here let's select this one there it is there <laughs> right it's there let's put the alpha back to something color here and let's do two things let's change its tint which is its color and let's make this one green let's pull the green up and pull this down and let's also distort it in some manner Oop, if I get on that line I want to try to get trying to get on that line there there now let's test that out and see all the things you can do with one symbol and a whole bunch of instances I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learned.